rise, shine, and give God the glory. Welcome to Holy Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church on the corner of 111th and Main, where our pastor, the late Dr. Leonard E. White, served us well, and King Jesus still reigns. Welcome to Morning Worship. God has spoken. The people responded. A new leader has been chosen. Mr. Francesco White is the new pastor-elect of Holy Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church. Warriors Prayer Line every Monday at noon. Call 339-209-5948. Join Minister Mary Wynn and the Prayer Warriors for our prayer time. Sisterhood is sponsoring the Mother's Day Fiesta on April 27, 2024, from 10 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. Tickets for adults are $20. Tickets for children ages 4 to 12, $10. Join us. See Sister Shirley Bonham or Sister Vanessa Dirks for more information on purchasing your tickets. Ladies, Women's Day weekend is coming June 8th and June 9th. See Sister Shirley Bonham for all of the amazing details. Our prayer breakfast speaker will be our own, Sister Betty Smith. And then a town favorite, Lady Charlotte Johnson of the Metropolitan Baptist Church will be our Women's Day speaker. Join us. Holy Mount Calvary is a teaching ministry, therefore join us every Sunday at 9 a.m. for our adult Sunday school class on Zoom, 759-551-2026. Likewise, our HEC Kids Sunday School class meets every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. with Sister Erin Gibson. We're growing because you're so Holy Mount Calvary appreciates every gift that's given to the church. If you have a desire to give virtually, you can give through Zelle or PayPal at donations at hmcmbc.org. Please make a note in the memo section if your gift is for time, offering, or dedicated to a specific ministry or task. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, and there may be meat in my house, and that comes from Malachi 3.10. We thank you in advance for your gift. 2024 theme, Kingdom People, the Lord is with us. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem? Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord is with you. 2 Chronicles 2017. Now, witness as we begin our morning service.
know that he is God and he yeah. that has yeah. made us yeah. and not we ourselves. We are his people and the chief right. of his pastor. Mm -hmm. Enter into his faith with thanksgiving and into his heart with praise. Be yeah. thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy endures forever and his fruitfulness according to all generations. From the word of God, from the people of God, the word is blessed. Amen. Morning prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, our be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Dear Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us and coming together one more time. We thank you for health and strength. Thank you, Lord, for the rest you provided, Lord, for us to be able to get up this morning, Lord, and make our way to the house of God. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that someone said today is done, Lord. That someone comes saying, what must I do to be saved? And Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would be guiding, Lord. And Father, continue to strengthen us, Lord, but one can't fall without the other. Lord, we love you, and we thank you, Lord. Continue to bless them with this only way, Lord. That's the one that's here. We ask that your Holy Spirit, Lord, will draw them near and closer. Lord, and as we go forward, Lord, bless our young generation. Now, Lord, we stand before the younger people, Lord, and we want to be the example, Lord, of who we are at this church house right here, Lord, to tell others, Lord, that we serve a true living God, Lord, who loves us, Lord, unconditionally. And Father, as we go forward, bless the one who's going to bring forth your word. We ask that the Holy Spirit, Lord, will guide and lead as we are called here for this purpose, Lord. To show others, Lord, the likeness in us, Lord, that it may shine, that others may see the God that's in us, Lord. Because great is he that's in us, and he that's in the world. And Father, no one has ever seen or ears have heard what God has in store for those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. Yeah. And Lord, we love you. Bless your word as it go forward. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name, Lord, I pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus is on the main line.
Wow. The light just turned on. That's because I went down there, everything was good. I'm like, oh, it's just like this. Just where it connect that. That's crazy. That kind of just made me mad. She would introduce herself and she present the word to us today. So oh, I want you to say to me, God bless. God. So I'm going to switch over now. I'm going to wait until they start the same game. Minister Wynn. Minister Wynn. With all God, I want you to say, God bless. God bless. Minister. Minister. Mary.
Because remember, the mic is going to be here. me. Should I say it again? Yes. Y'all want to say it again? Yes. It said, come on, I, I can do. That's because of the All, all things come on with strength in me. The word of the Lord is blessed. And I thank God. To follow up, if you don't mind, to stand for this other scripture that 
the Lord put on my heart. First Corinthians. I'll read it for you. You don't have to turn if you if you don't want. First Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Whose work, saints? Did it say mine? I'm a servant. I want to do his will. Amen? Amen. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain. The word of God for the people of God, and the word is blessed as well. Thank you. You may have your seat. And today, praise God, I'm going to, the Lord, well, I'm going to say I'm going to because the Lord gave it to me. So I want to share with everyone today, and the title of this sermon today will be, hallelujah, hope of endurance, Lord Jesus, hope of of endurance. First, saints of God, and also let me pray. Father, in the name, it is in the name of Jesus. I give you praise, hallelujah. Father, I give you glory. I just want to say thank you, God, for this time and this opportunity that you have blessed and allowed me to stand before your people. I want to say thank you, Lord, for you have truly, truly been good to us. And I'm like the old saints that when they would say, if I had a thousand tongues more, God, I couldn't thank you for everything that you are doing in all of our lives. But I know, I know, I know that if we had a thousand tongues, we would continue to praise you because you are worthy. Father, I pray that you'll please the Lord, open up ears, including mine to hear what the Spirit has to say. Lord, let us receive your word because we need your word to keep us strengthened as we are on this journey in our lives. Keep us in your will, Lord. Hallelujah. Keep us in your way. Bless us to be all that you will have us to be. Lord, Father God, please, sir, bless everyone that's sitting and waiting. Let your word, hallelujah, be powerful. Your word be encouragement. Amen. Amen and thank God. Thank you, Ursha, for your, your duty as you stood for the word. And everyone, praise God. Again, I just want to go back and just say I thank the Lord for this day again. You know, it, it seems like every time that something come up, what we say, well, we thank the Lord. And God knows we mean it from the bottom of our hearts, don't we? So with today's message, first let me say as I said, I thank God for, for blessing me with this, uh, um, this sermon on today. And obeying the Holy Spirit, that's where it all begins. Right. It all begins. And just, I want to let everyone know that, you know, with the Holy Spirit is what we have and guide us through our ministry, ministering through his word, yes. preaching and teaching the word of God. So as we go, praise God, what Jesus said, go ye therefore. Preach, teach the people. Because Lord knows there are many, there are many that are still out there wandering. But we have been charged with the charge. As I hear Minister Fran sing that song. And we have a God to glorify. Amen. So today's word, hope of encouragement. It's just to let each and every one of us know, regardless of circumstances, saints. Regardless of circumstances, we are God's children. Yes. He's the one that we, he gives us hope, hallelujah. And then he gives us strength. And all of that's within us. It's within us. As we read the scripture, yes. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Sometimes we feel like we want to throw in the towel. I was one of them at one point in time. But I've learned that to, to depend on the Lord Jesus. Because first of all, he said, I am with you. I will never leave you. And somebody would, you know, someone would probably say, well, he said all of that. His word is true. <laughs> he, uh, he never leaves us alone. When the, when the problems, the trial comes, he's, he's there. And then sometimes we think about it, well, how did we get through it? 
How dare we? Because the love of God, the power of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, that continue to give us strength with the hope we have is our desires for things to happen. And when I say that, the desire of things to happen, and then I think about faith, what the word of God said about faith is the substance of things, the evidence of things not seen. So therefore, we have a desire for things to happen. So we're going to have the faith to believe it will come. Thank you. See ya. Ooh, it will come to pass. Thank you. Ooh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. And uh, with all of that faith, when we received and walk in our hope and faith, it's, it's to help us. It's for the betterment in our lives as we continue this journey. This is a journey. As we continue our journey to eternal life, to live with Christ Jesus, we as God's children, first of all, and then when we think about endurance, Lord help today, it's a test, we have a testimony when it comes to endurance saints. We have a testimony, and sometimes with those testimonies, we need to tell somebody. Tell somebody, don't keep it to yourself. Tell somebody the testimony of how God has blessed us to come through trial. Thank you, God. And then when, we, we, when you think about endurance, when we're going through, let me tell you, there are going to be obstacles. Amen? There are going to be naysaying things. Amen? So what we do, because we can do all things in Christ, because we trust in him, we don't have to compromise. Listen, y'all hear me? We don't have to compromise, nor be waving. Have not that mind of waving where I think so. So with the waving, what comes in that doubt, disbelief, and, and we're not trusted. So let us not compromise just because somebody saying this, go to the God. Ask him for his understanding. Ask him for his direction, amen? Yeah. I looked in the book of James, chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. And within that, it tells about the faith and, and endurance. And when you think about how God gives us, and I, I put in a little quotation, God always given us. <laughs> he, always, God has always given us what we need in the time of trouble, during the time of trial, he gives us the strength to go through, and he helps us, praise God. We can't do anything alone. There's an a, a old song, an old hymn that says, never alone. I love that, never alone. And with that, Jesus promised us, didn't he? He promised that he would never, never, never leave us alone. And all things through Christ, see, we can't do it on our own. When there's, my God, today, heartaches, heartbreaks, tears, moans, whatever, and that we go through from time to time, he gives us the strength because we have him, his word within us. I, I looked in God's word, and I thought about his servant David, King David. And with King David, in Psalms 119, verse 11, he says, Write thy words upon the table of my heart, that I may not sin against thee. When we're going through some things, and we're going, Lord, and we're going, Jesus, that's me, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But I have his word on the inside to keep me in comfort. And then just realize, and I can say, Lord Jesus, you said I can do all, not on my own. But through you, Lord Jesus, I can do all things. All things through you. All things. Because first of all, I heard Sister Betty in the, in the Sunday school, all things are possible by God. All things. And we have to, you know, when the word says, believe and doubt not. Because see, we know about uh, one of his disciples, how he doubted him. But you know, the Lord Jesus appeared unto him and showed him the proof I am. I'm still here. I am. I've already spoken it. But since you have this doubt, come handle me. Come handle me. Praise God. 
So when I was, there was a, uh, and I love gospel songs. I love them old, and because I'm old, I love the young songs because they are young, praise God. But the songs of the Lord that, you know, Zion's song that encourage and lift us up. And I know many of us around the house, you know, driving our car, there's a song that will come lift our spirit. And when I was writing uh, this message, Hope of Endurance, I heard the song. In fact, I listened to one of the songs that Kirk Franklin wrote many years ago. With Jesus, I know I can make it. Right. Yeah. With Jesus, I can stand. Yeah. So no matter what come my way, saints of God, all of our life is in his hand. Right. For he's the one that controls every situation. See, but we want to go into doubt and, you know, let the negative overtake us. Yes, overtake us sometimes. But we have to know that greater is he that's in. Yeah. Yeah. Greater is he that's in yeah. than he that's in the world. We know what the devil does, don't we? Plant seeds of discord, laying snares and traps. But we have Jesus, and he is greater in us than anything or anyone. And most times I love to just read God's words and say, you know, when we come up in these trials and tribulations, and what the devil does is try to separate us from the Lord. Yeah. But God said, no one, no thing can pluck me, pluck you out of his hand. Yeah. So he's holding this up. And that's why I always enjoy the, when, when I hear Mother Janie, she would say, God got it. <laughs> I hold on to that. God got us. So as long as he got us, he have us. I don't know what's that the proper English first lady, but it's just, <laughs> or the, the proper grammar, praise God. <laughs> but when we say, I said, but I said with whole contentment, hope, belief, praise God, faith in God. I can do, you can do, we can do all things through Christ Jesus, because he is our Savior. Mm -hmm. Looking at that particular verse, 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. It, it's, it's letting us know that it's not the Christian superheroes, if there be any. I don't know any. I don't know, because many, I, the reason that's why I said it, because sometimes there's some weak moments in all our lives. So in knowing that, it's for every child of God, I can do. But Jesus is letting us know we can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. So it's for all of us to know that we are, ch we are the children of God. And with every situation in life, especially the tough one, do I, I'm like somebody say, they ask the question sometimes, uh, do I have a witness? Oh, praise God. And when I say, especially the tough time, because sometimes these trials get so hard, saints. And I like to say the word, tell the truth and shame the devil. Because we're going to tell somebody, oh, I didn't know how I was going to make it. Mm. Lord, I was so sick, I didn't know what to do. Hallelujah. But when we call on Jesus, see, those are the, 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 the tough things that goes on in our lives. Furthermore, there are no trials. So be encouraged with this. There are no trials or tragedies too hard when we face Jesus. Why? Because we put Jesus in it. Amen? When we have Jesus, it may seem physically hard. But see, when our spirit moans to the Lord with the Holy Spirit, he hears that. He cares about what we're going through, saints of God. And we're not walking this journey alone. I'm not the only one. I said, you're not the only one. But we need to be strength to one another. Hope of endurance. You know, endurance let us know there's going to be some unpleasant time. Hallelujah. As we walk this journey. Disappointment, saints. Hallelujah. You would think about it, you know, when we have to cry these tears. But when you think about endurance, hope of, I hope I can make it through this. But as long as you have Christ in your life that gives you the strength, you can do it. You can make it. 
See, in, in telling the testimony, and many times that I, I wrote in, my, in the note as I was writing the message, and we have to learn to be content sometimes. Learn to be content sometimes. Let your words not overtake our ash. Oh, help today. Many times we say things, Lord, help today. And we really don't mean it. We really don't. So there's a time when we have to go and, and say I'm sorry. There, there's, there's times of, with, with being content. We have to learn not to just be mean folks. Oh, God. We shouldn't be mean folks anyway. Because Jesus said, love you one another as I have loved you. Care for one another. Be encouraging to one another. That's why I always like to read that scripture when Jesus told Peter. He said the devil desired to sift. The devil desired to sift all of us. Hallelujah, like the wheat. Just, just take whatever that's in us, which is Christ Jesus, out of us. But he told Peter, he said, but I'm going to pray for you. I believe God is still listening to his son as he prays for us. And then he said, because we need that strength, saints. When someone say, well, I'm going to court, Lord, give them favor. Hallelujah. Because listen here, saints of God, there's always somebody against us, always. Whether it's in the court, then in, in, when the, the, you hear of those that are sick, we pray, Lord, give favor. Hallelujah. The doctors and whatever, give favor, Lord. See, because we have a saying, don't we, uh, noonday, Monday prayer, and when we respond to one another, how y'all doing? In the Lord, thank you, Deacon. And see, I said that because it, it brings a smile to our faces, and it brings a joy to let us know Yes, because we, we're, we're favored by God. We're loved by God. Amen. Amen. So, yes, we are favored. And God, I, I love it. I, I tease many of them. I say, y'all know when y'all say that, I'm smiling. Y'all just can't see me through the phone. <laughs> but we rejoice in the Lord. And I just want to let everybody know, saints, as I've just spoken in regards to being content. We have to learn to do this. Every moment, Lord, help today. Every moment, regardless of our situation, we can endure because of Christ Jesus. There are times when we learn how to uh, be content. And trust me when I tell you that it's not hard. We know it's not hard. And what was that saying? It's easier said than done. Yes, it is. Yeah. It really is. And for those of us that when we, we have already went through some things, and it's, I'm going to say this. I used to say, I ain't doing it. I ain't going to participate. I ain't doing it. No more. And I know I'm not using the correct grammar. I ain't. But listen here. <laughs> but listen here. <laughs> so I guess the correct grammar would be, I'm not. <laughs> Help me today, Jesus. I'm not going to do it anymore. But listen, you cannot say what you're not going to do. It's best to be obedient to the Spirit of God than to say what we're not going to do. And when I said that, I'm reminded in Jeremiah 29, 11, first of all, because God already knows the plans plan for you, for me, and everybody else. So I really had to get rid of that. I ain't going to do as well as saying the wrong grammar. Amen. So we continue to look to the hills which coming forth our help, saints of God. When we think about endurance and endure, it's not just all about us in this sanctuary today. You know, there are many people that we come in contact, strangers, our friends. And so we think of them as being a part of the community. 
and as community saints of God, as, as you know, the saints of God, I ain't talking about the ain'ts of God, okay? The real saints of God. We help one another. We encourage one another. We share the gospel, telling somebody, and it's really even in our prayers, we ask God for that men, women, boys, and girls, that God would show himself to them. Because many, Lord, help us today, of our young people are being strayed away. So we have to continue to plead the blood. Hallelujah. We have to continue to bleed the blood over them. Because when we share the, the gospel, we're testifying that I went through something. But I often say when I put a comma, but God. Mm, how did we make? Yes, but God. Hallelujah. Because of many of the afflictions. But God, who delivers? Who delivers? That pain we were going through, we called Jesus. And just wait, and soon that pain will be gone because we trust in him. So who are we to keep him to ourselves? We can't. Why? Because he died for the whole world. We can't keep him to ourselves because the Bible tells us that say God so loved, John 3, 16. Sister Pat, that he gave that whosoever, we shall not perish. So we have God's word, and our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. So with the endurance saints, as I just stated, many of those endurance are times that, you know, unpleasant. Mm. But we learn to lean and depend on Jesus. We learned that, praise God, and as we look in, in Matthew 24, 13, it says, keep in mind that as we remain faithful, faithful to Christ unto death, we will see eternal life. We have salvation. That salvation is, is going to be eternal. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, Listen, don't stop believing, Lord Jesus. Don't stop believing in Christ. Just go back to the scripture of Philippians 4, 13. Lord, I can do all things through, through you, through Christ Jesus, as you strengthen us. Because when we endure, hallelujah, you know there's a great reward. We've been hearing it all the days of our life. That great reward that we want to receive. And when we make it to, to the kingdom, thank you, God. When we make it, I heard so many, many people, and I, I'm, I'm going to be one of them. Oh, just to see his face. Mm -hmm. To say thank you. <laughs> just to see his face. Tell him all about my trouble. Yeah. Tell him all about these trials. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He has brought us through. But when I see Jesus. Yeah. See, everything else is it, not going to matter because, but when I see Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. My hurts, all my pain, all my heartache, every last burden, all the doubt that I may have had. But when I see Jesus, Just me, hallelujah. We can say, Lord, when we see you, Lord. Mm -hmm. We can tell them all about what we've been through. But we couldn't have made it without him. Because we took on his word. I can do all things through Christ Jesus that kept me, that strengthened me, 
He was there by my side when I needed him. Every now and then we rock. Every night, Lord, from side to we reel. Hallelujah. But however we may do it, he's always there. He's there on the right side of us. He's there on the left side of us. He's above us. He's underneath us. We just keep the faith. Just keep the faith, saints of God. And I know that I, I gave some parts. And the part that, that, that I was thinking of, all because with our hope of endurance, the first part that I wrote is perseverance. Mm -hmm. That's it, Deacon. I think you're going to help me preach the rest of this. Amen. <laughs> Hang in there. So therefore, that's why I wrote the scripture. 1 Corinthians 15, 58, be steadfast, yeah, yeah. unmovable, yeah. abounding in the work of the Lord. Amen. Yeah, yeah. In the work of the Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Continue on. Praise God. We may get weak sometimes, oh, yeah. but our strength is in the Lord. The second point I wrote was patient. Lord, help today. Was patient. And then, you know, with the patience, we will find patience in the book of James 1, verses 3 to 4. And with the patience, saints, we can tolerate some things. I know we don't want to. We can tolerate some things. That's what patience means. And when the Lord tells us over in Psalms, you know, be patient. Wait on the Lord. Psalm 27, 14 says wait. Wait on the Lord. And not, not when you wait on them, keep the faith. Be encouraged. Wait on them. He's coming to our rescue. He may not come when we want him, but he's coming to the rescue. Hallelujah. He's coming, praise God. Then the last point I want to share is the power of endurance. You know what that power is? I know y'all know. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. The Holy Ghost, because he said over in Acts 1 and 8, he said, when the power will come upon you, the Holy Ghost, that will help us to endure, hallelujah. So endurance, we're going to keep the faith and hold on because my last statement is Philippians 4.13. I, we, can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened us. So the word of God, and I thank God for the message, and I thank God for you all praying for Reverend Wynn. And I, there's one thing I love about our minister, Marvin, and she continued in her message, be connected. Stay connected. Stay connected to God, because without him, we can't do anything. God bless you all. Keep me in prayer. And may you be encouraged by the word of God. God bless you. Come on, let's thank God for Minister Wynn. Amen. What a word. Sometimes we have to be reminded that the Lord is with us and that he's standing close by and he'll give you the endurance you need in order to make it through. Amen. I can't hear nobody. He'll give you the endurance to make it through. Standing all over the building. This is our old song. It simply says, says, oh.
One more time. Oh. confession is made unto salvation for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved amen all over the room if you've accepted the Lord Jesus into your heart you know without wrath or doubt in your minds that you're ready to receive him into your heart you've already received him the death burial resurrection and the soon coming again if you have lift your hands all over this room Hallelujah. Clap those hands and put them together. And you may take your seats. Of his saving grace. On the streets of glory. Let me lift my voice. Oh, cares all past. And I'm home. Hallelujah. As always, I always pray for the unbeliever. You never assume your audience. You never assume that everybody that came to church knows the Lord. And they can know him, but they haven't made the confession out of their mouth and been baptized. And so I say to you today, the gospel is the good news of Jesus. The gospel is the fact that in the midst of him dying on the cross, the good news for us is that because of the shedding of his blood, we've been saved from our sins. And so I always want to make sure that we've prayed for the unbeliever, the person who may be watching, may watch the replay. And I want them to know it's a place for them in the kingdom. I said there's a place for them. There's a place for them in the kingdom. And so we want to make sure that nobody ever feels that they can't come back into the house of the Lord, that they can't come back home. If the prodigal son could come back home after spending all his daddy's money, surely you can come back after you spent all of that good favor God put on you. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing to that. We've all kind of squandered some of God's favor every now and again. Went out there and shook it a little too long. Whatever you were shaking. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you for picking us up. Thank you for not turning us loose. Thank you for not leaving us in the midst of our sin. And because we remember how you did it for us, God, we're believing you to do it for somebody else. We thank you, Lord God, because we know that it was no goodness of our own. But it was because you looked down on us and you decided to have mercy on us, God. We thank you for it. And so now, Father God, I'm asking that you would uh, 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 see the person that's making a decision within themselves. They're making a decision whether or not today will be their day. That they will join the church. That today will be their day. That they join the kingdom of God. That today will be their day. That they stop tarrying between two opinions but they will make a decision to live for you. We thank you, Lord God, because you're so gracious towards us and you're patient with us as the word of God said today. And we thank you for that patience. We thank you, Lord, that you, were, that you deal with us and you allow us to come to the conclusion that life is just better when, it, when you're involved. So Father, as always, I'm asking that they would accept your dear son, Jesus, that would accept his death, burial, and resurrection that they will humble themselves and pray, that they will turn from their ways and seek his face. 
Lord, I ask now that they will repent of their sins, that they will believe it in their heart, confess it with their mouth that you were raised from the dead. And I pray that they be saved eternally. And it's in the name of Jesus I pray. Amen and praise God. Clap your hands if you believe he's still saving. He's still delivering. Hallelujah. We thank him that he's still healing. Um, normally we open, um, when we get ready to pray for um, our, our sick list, we always try to uh, lift up a praise report. And so there's nothing printed on the paper. Um, and it's two slots here, but I see about 50 praise reports. So can you just look at somebody and say, I am the praise report today. The fact that I'm here, I am the praise report. So, some of you, some of you are, uh, uh, drive a very long way through a lot of different uh, weather systems. And the fact that you're here, you just need to look at somebody and say, I am the praise report. My car didn't go sliding down the freeway. I wasn't behind the wheel so long that I fell asleep. But because of God's grace and mercy, I'm here today, amen? Amen, amen. Thank you. And so while we're in that vein, we thank God for Sister Natasha Ashley, uh, who had a successful surgery. This is a relative, this is the niece of Sister Vicki Smith. We also want to thank God for uh, Sister Margaret Williams, who's, she's on the list, but she's here. And she said she was going to sing today. Amen. Uh, Brother James Maul and uh, Sister Pauletta here this Sunday. They weren't able to be here last Sunday. And uh, we thank God that uh, God allowed his healing virtues to be with them. And thank God for a good daughter that could get her where she needed to be. Amen. 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 Uh, also, James Hammond, this is the baby brother of Shirley and Vanessa. He received, uh, I want to say this correct, he completed his studies and received his doctorate of theology. Somebody say diploma. Jesus. We thank God. We thank God. <laughs> and then we're also, uh, we're, gonna, we're in prayer. Uh, uh, when, when things are going on, uh, you know, make sure that you, uh, that you let Minister Wynn or Sister Jennifer know, um, you know, when you're asking for prayer. Let them know so they can get on the list. A lot of things tend to come by way of the, uh, as she stated, the Monday prayer time. Uh, that's the community prayer time. And that's where they come together and they share the information of what's going on. So make sure, make sure, make sure that you get that information to them. And then bereavement, as always, and it's always said in the announcements, make sure that you see Minister Bunsey for that. But on this list here, we got Todd Ingraham, Robert Sandville Sr., Laquisha Davis, who requested prayer last Sunday, but it just didn't get on my paper. But uh, we want to keep Sister Laquisha in prayer. Um, Augusta Escott, Gary Greer. But we thank God he came home from the hospital yesterday. Amen. Amen. And I'm asking that you keep Sister Johnny May in prayer um, because uh, one thing she's going to do is be by her children's side when they need her. And so I'm asking that you keep her in prayer. He, listen, y'all, he went in the hospital on his birthday. And then, um, Johnny May, you had a birthday this week. And that birthday was spent being a mama to her baby, amen? And uh, But I thank God that she was here to be here, be here for him. Because I'll tell you this, I don't care how old you get, go through something and get where you can't do for yourself. The first thing you gonna wanna go is mama! And you want her to answer. <laughs> and so I thank God that even in his time of need on his birthday, the one who was with him when he came into the world was still able to be by his side. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're keeping uh, Kai McDaniel in prayer. That's the grandson of Sister Vanessa. Um, Archilis Howard. Did I say it right? 
Aquilus Howard. This is the youngest brother of our own Deacon Kenneth Howard. We want to keep him in prayer. Sharon Baker, Wanda Johnson, Ronald Collins, Natasha Ashley, Oralee Parks, Gloria West, and family, Sister Leona Duffy. But we thank God she up here singing. She has a, a surgery pending, but you wouldn't know it looking at her and how she's getting around here. So we thank God that even while she's moving, he's working on her. Amen. Uh, the family, the Finney family, excuse me, I'm sorry. The Finney family, um, Henry Duffy Jr. But we thank God he's here today as well. Amen. Amen. Um, Mother Dorothy Tyson and daughters, Jennifer, Judy, and Lisa, uh, Renee Lagarde, Edwin Brown, Michael Hillman. Um, Family of Deborah Bowens, um, who's a strong supporter of the church. I spoke with uh, Sister Marshall yesterday, and I need this. This is important. Deborah Bowens is responsible for that the desk that's outside in the foyer, uh, a large contribution to the the, um, the conference room table that's there, uh, the, um, the finance office furniture that's upstairs. She's She was very instrumental in a lot of things, and that's just a little bit of what she's done for Holy Mount Calvary. But we thank God she was able to be with us um, when we had the retirement celebration for Sister uh, Marshall. Um, that I believe that was her last time here in the building. Well, she went home to be with the Lord. And so uh, Sister Marshall informed me of that yesterday. She's going to keep me posted on information. Holy Mount Calvary will be represented with a resolution um, that will denote all of what she has done, all of her contributions to the church. Because, see, people don't have to be nice to you. People don't have to do things for the church. And so we want to appreciate those that have sown into the ministry of Holy Mount Calvary, lest we forget where we've come from. Amen. Amen. Um, also, uh, people, we got to uh, keep the, um, the Atkinson, Delaney, and Gibson family in prayer. Um, I don't know if many of you remember Donna. Donna Washington, this is Addie's daughter, and her children around here, when we were coming up in the pastor's choir, it was she, she, sha, sha, and she, she. <laughs> and so, well, Donna went home to be with the Lord. She closed her eyes and she just went to sleep. And uh, um, this was after she had had a procedure done, but we thank God um, that uh, uh, her children, they're in good spirits, they're, they're moving with it. I spoke with uh, Naomi yesterday. And so just keep their families in prayer and um, as they prepare to lay their loved one to rest, amen. Amen. Um, uh, prayers for Elaine Eccles and family, but she's here today. Amen. 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 But, uh, and I heard from, heard from several of the long grandchildren uh, during the week. And so everybody's doing all right. And another one that I'm so happy to see is Sister Lily Irvin back up in the choir singing. Can y'all love on her? Amen. She's been through she's been through quite the ordeal and so we definitely want to keep her in prayer um i happened to look over and um i was walking through here bringing the papers and i looked over and her pro the program from regina's service is sitting over there in that corner so for those of you that uh, might not have uh, had the opportunity to meet regina because she she battled a long time and so she really didn't have a lot of opportunities to come. Her picture is right over there and that beautiful smile. And so um, you all keep Sister Urban in prayer that God will keep her in perfect peace. And she's trying to stay busy, so y'all keep her busy too, all right? We still praying for Evan Johnson, prayers for Olivia Barber and her cancer treatments. Um, Miriam Franklin, um, she's home from the hospital, but she also has a surgery pending. Janelle Whitehead, and then of course, Holy Mount Calvary. Amen. We want to keep Holy Mount Calvary in prayer. Amen. And th there's a there's restoration coming. Okay. I'm going to say more about that later. But there's restoration coming. What we're to do in this season is to stay prayerful and don't get distracted. I'm going to run that back again. Stay prayerful and don't get distracted. Amen. Amen. 
Don't let nobody kill your joy. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. We thank you, Lord God, because you've been gracious to us when we didn't deserve it. You've been loving and you've been kind to us, God, and we're so grateful for it. We thank you, Lord God, that this season of grief that we have experienced and experiencing now, Lord, we thank you that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Lord, we say thank you because it's only because of your grace and mercy that we've been able to make it through. Lord God, many of us have gone through several health scares. And God, I'm saying to you now, thank you for your keeping power. Lord God, Mother Wilma Hina wasn't on the list, but God, we say thank you for your keeping power. We thank you, Lord God, that she's resting well at home, still able to receive calls, still able to talk, still able to have conversations with her loved ones. For that, God, we say thank you. We say thank you, Lord God, for Sister Carolyn Theory, how you brought her through, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that her recovery has been good. And now, God, I'm asking that you do it yet again. Do it again for your people. Do it again for those that are going through. We thank you, Lord God, for how you've continued to keep Sister Lanessa and her go through. So, God, I'm asking that all these miracles whose names I've called, Lord God, that they would be witness to those that have to go through, those that are preparing to go through. God, I thank you now that you keep surrounding this place with witnesses of those that would be able to tell a dying world that there's a reality in serving a true and living God. Then, God, I lift up Minister Wynn to you, Lord God. That we thank you, Lord, that she was able to stand today, Lord God. Because, Lord God, the last three months she went through, Lord God, it was one health thing after the next, but, God, you allowed her to stand behind this sacred desk and proclaim what thus saith the Lord. So now, God, I'm asking that you pour back into her, Lord God. Lord God, everything that was expelled, every lesson, every thought, everything that she put into her message, Lord God, now, God, I ask that that word take root in the hearts of your people and that it be something that will grow and sprout up when they need it the most. The Bible says, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. So, God, let this word take root in our hearts and let it come up when we need it the most. I say thank you, Lord God, for every person that's connected to somebody in this church. Lord God, I'm believing now that you're doing something supernatural through us, oh God. That the peace of God that we have is shall spread out to others, Lord God. The light of Christ that's on the inside of us will be shared with others. We thank you, Lord God, that when it's all said and done, you will get the glory out of the work that's done in this place. We say thank you, Lord God, for every prayer that's prayed in this place. Every word of God that's spoken in this place. Lord God, I'm asking now that you do a good work, Lord, like only you can. And we say thank you for it, Lord God. And we believe everything that we're asking for, God, it's already done. We believe it now, oh God, that if we've bound it here on earth, it's bound in heaven. And whatever we've loosed here on earth, it's loosed in heaven as well. So, Father, pour out a blessing upon your people. Oh, that we don't have room, have enough room to receive it. We thank you for it, and we give you glory in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, and praise God. Come on, if you believe he's still doing it, give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, at this time, we're going to have our announcements from Sister Elaine Eccles, and she's going to uh, govern, uh, give us what we need in order to govern ourselves. Please make sure that you take note of what's said. Please keep your bulletins so that you are aware of what uh, goes on. Sorry, I'm gonna take this little caveat right here. Uh, that paper costs money. The ink costs money. So it, 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 it hurts us when you say, oh, I didn't know, baby, it's on the paper. Put it on your refrigerator. You visit the refrigerator often, do I, I... Sister. reverence to God, <laughs> respect to my late pastor, and respect to my current pastor, to all of the ministers in the pulpit area, those there may be in the house, to my first lady, and to all of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for the support of today's service. Tomorrow, we ask that you join Minister Wynn and the Prayer Warriors at noon on the conference call line. Part three of Bible Study Basics 102 will be this Wednesday, 
April the 17th at 7 p.m. on Zoom. The instructor will be Minister Otis Muldrow, and you may see Minister Marilyn Wilson for your Bible study lesson. <coughs> April the 20th, the Brotherhood will meet at 12 p.m. in person, and the male chorus rehearsal will take place immediately following at 1 p.m. Now, the Holy Mount Calvary Sisterhood is hosting a Mother's Day fiesta on Saturday, April the 27th, 2024, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. The event will be held here at Holy Mount Calvary. Adult tickets are $20. The event will, I'm sorry, ticket, adult tickets are $20, and children tickets ages 4 to 12 are $10. Tickets can be purchased from Sister Vanessa Dirks or Sister Shirley Bonham. Minister Marie Bunsey is our president. Sister Vanessa Dirks, our vice president. Sunday, April the 28th at 3 p.m., we will fellowship with Tabernacle Church of God in Christ to help them celebrate the pastoral anniversary of Pastor Art and Lady Charlotte Tillman. Amen. The church is located at 5419 South San Pedro Street in Los Angeles. Overcomers Prayer Time is every Friday from 12 p.m. to 12.15 p.m. on HMC's conference call line. That number, 339-209-5948. Let's come together to tell God thank you for every experience he allowed us to have during the week. Give your name and cell number if you want a reminder to Sister Erin Gibson, and she will add you to the texting list. Attention, parents and students. LUCEF will acknowledge student academic achievements and awards every fourth Sunday during morning service. If you would like to be recognized, please notify Sister Joy Sims Pigeon or Lady Frankie Johnson White the week prior to the fourth Sunday. Save the dates. HMC Ladies Weekend is coming up on June 8th and 9th. We'll start the weekend with a prayer breakfast on Saturday, June the 8th. The prayer breakfast will help us come together as, as one in preparation for our Women's Day Sunday service. Women, we are asking you to give $50 and men, $25. Please be ready as your captains will start calling you in April. This will give everyone time to get their money in by June the 9th. All right. You can pay by Zelle, check, or cash. Please make sure you notate Women's Day and your captain's name on your payment. Your captains, and I'm gonna ask you to raise your hand, a through C, if your last name are A through C, please, if your last name is A through C, please see Sister Carolyn Smith. Okay, D through J, Sister Lily Irving. And L through Y, Sister Mary Smith. Okay, those are your captains for Women's Day. The April Prayer and Praise calendar is available in the foyer. Theme this month is Peace, and the cal calendar is provided by the HMC Sisterhood, Minister Marie Bunsey, President, Sister Vanessa Dirks, Vice President. There are various ways to donate to Holy Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church. If you have cash or checks, you may place that in a Holy Mount Calvary envelope. Please write the purpose of the donation, very important, in the memo section. If you prefer to give electronically through PayPal or Zelle, please send your donations to donations at hmcmbc.org. Please write the purpose of the donation in the memo section. Second Chronicles 2017 reads, you will not need to fight this battle. Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. 
Our 2024 church theme this year is Kingdom People, the Lord is with us. Our church leadership is praying continuously and we encourage you to do the same. In closing, we thank everyone for your presence and support of the ministries of Holy Mount Calvary. May the Lord continue to be your strength as you follow him is our prayer. Uh, it's at this time we typically acknowledge our visitors, but I understand we don't have any first time visitor. But uh, Minister Lorenzo Johnson, are you still here? No, he tipped out already. He tipped out already. Pastor Fran's cousin and um, Sister White's nephew is with us. Clarence Hillman, are you here? Would you please stand? <laughs> this is a son of our own minister, Mary Wynn. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Holy Mount Calvary, thank you for being here. These are, oh no, I have a thank you card, I'm sorry. Thank you. This is addressed to Minister Fran, pastor of Holy Mount Calvary, and my, and my entire Holy Mount Calvary and friends and family. Thank you. There are not enough words to fully express our heartfelt gratitude for your sympathy, love, and support you have extended to our family during this time of loss. We deeply appreciate you. Your thoughtfulness and kindness will always be remembered. Thank you, the family of Irving, Allen, and Singleton. To my Holy Mount Calvary family and friends, I cannot thank you enough for your support of my family. And, and I received, my family and I received. I love everyone so much, Sister Lily Irving. Amen. 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 Those are all of the announcements I have this morning. Any further announcements? coming from the pulpit area. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. We are growing because you are sowing. If Holy Mount Calvary's morning worship service has been a blessing to you, visit our church website for secure methods of sowing a seed. Follow the helpful tabs to our giving page. There you can choose to give electronically through Zelle, PayPal, or mail a check to our church address. We appreciate your generous giving and pray that God will continue to keep you and your family. Thank you for choosing to worship with Holy Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church today. May the peace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with you both hence now and forever. God bless you.